Hi everybody, how are you? Di Garling from Down Under in Sydney, Australia with you tonight. Um, here as part of the Premier Education team to help inspire you and show you some of their lovely products that we'll be using tonight. Um, I hope lots of my friends are going to join me. Hi Charmaine, Charmaine from Far West Australia is here with us. And no doubt there'll be plenty, plenty more jumping in along the way. Um, tonight I'm going to do a little project. Um, Claire, hi Claire, how are you? Um, I'm going to do a little mixed media project, um, but with a little bit of a twist. Um, I'll show you in a minute when a few more of us get on. Hi Vanessa, how are you? Thank you for joining us tonight. This is the first time I've filmed of a night and I've got to say I'm not overly wrapped even though I've got lights hanging from everywhere. Um, my ceilings are very high and I've got a lot of glass and because it's dark outside. Hi Denise from New Zealand, Monique from up in North Queensland. Yeah, because I've got glass everywhere and it's all dark outside and I've got high ceilings, no matter how many lights I'm using, I, I, I just hope it's light enough that you can see and everything. Hi Karen, how are you? And my good friend Jan and Jackie, pleased you could all drop in girls. Now tonight, uh, we're going to be using the Lavender Frost paper collection and a variety of older flowers. Kath, hello Kath. Um, and my new favourite Prima product is the gorgeous um, watercolour confection. So we'll be, um, we'll be playing with those as well. So I'm now going to just turn the camera down to the table so that you can all see. So just bear with me a sec because this makes a dreadful noise and a spin and rotate the... No, you're still with me. Okay, we're still here. We're still going. Okay. I thought I lost you there, ladies. Gosh, it's a cow. Technology, as I said, it's wonderful when it's working, but it's a cow when it's not. And I have absolutely no idea if you girls can see what I'm showing you here. If you can hear my screen saying my the live video has ended. Just please bear with me a second. There's nothing I can do about this. Um, I lost you. Yes. Okay. Are we still going? Let's see. I have no idea, girls. Okay, I'm, I'm going to chat on for a minute. And, uh, yeah, if a couple of people can let me know, I think I've still got you. Okay, as I said, we're using the Lavender Frost Paper Collection. It's one of Prima's older paper collections. But it's one of my favourites. I've made a number of projects with this collection and the watercolour confections which is their gorgeous um, watercolour based paints loving those um, i've shouted myself three sets of those now you never have too many camera girls and i'm also why do i get in focus up there more uh, i'm going to use some waxes tonight some of prima's older flowers um oldies but goodies they're absolutely gorgeous and i've got so many beautiful prima flowers in my stash i'm absolutely you know finding things that i forgot i had okay so i've still i've still got you um somebody janine said she's got the full set of the syndrome ones oh, i just love them they're on my wish list to get some more so okay so what i'm going to do can somebody give me, are you hearing me okay? My computer's gone crazy, my internet's gone wacko, and I, I really don't know who can hear me and who can see me and whatever. I thought I lost you, but we're still here. So that's a that's a rough start, but here you can only get better. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, I've got um, a little two cartridge chipboard heart. They've done all these gorgeous um, panels. These, um, I'm not sure if they're 10 or 12 inch. Um, 
their chipboard. And what I've done, I've, to give myself a little bit of a head start, I've, um, I've covered it, I've covered the heart and ink the edges in one of the papers from this Lavender Frost collection. I haven't even got a full sheet I can show you girls, but that's the paper that I've used. Um, I've only got scraps of it left, as I say. I've absolutely, you know, used this collection so many times. And if you want to get some, just Google it. You will pick it up at, at you know, lots of stores, lots of online stores and all that sort of thing. So that's what I'm using. So I'll just put that out of my way for the moment. You can see my pad, the cover's starting to fall off it and everything. Um, so that's our... That's our heart. So what I've done, as I said, I've covered that. I've glued it all on my chipboard heart. I've clear gessoed it in the, um, the Finnebar Art Basics uh, clear gesso. Let me see that. I'll just move back a little bit more. I'm going to move my camera out a little bit just so you can see. Um, yeah, the clear gesso. And why I use clear as opposed to white, um, it doesn't cover up any of the pattern at all. Whereas if I used white gesso to do that, um, that would have blocked out some of that pattern. And that's such a gorgeous paper. I tend to like really subtle background papers. And this is a prime example of what I like. Because I'm a busy scrapper, I think putting my style on a more subtle background, it's a nice contrast instead of putting busy on busy, you know, I'm putting busy on, on subtle. Um, so that's what I've done. So clear gesso that, and then I even cheated and did some stenciling um, using um, also the Art Extravagance um, texture paste, because um, I thought otherwise I'm gonna have to get you girls to wait while I dry, and I didn't want to do that. Okay, so that's what I've done. So covered the heart, clear gessoed it, done some um, stenciling, and then I've inked my edges. So we're good to go. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some photos of my granddaughter on here, or well, one of my gorgeous granddaughters, um, and I'm just going to layer that up. But what I'm going to do, and I said to you it's a little mixed media project um, with, a, with a twist, I thought, I love making little plaques and things, but, I mean, you can only have so many. What are you going to do with it? Um, so what I thought I would do is... I turn it into a card. Now, we can do this via two ways. I just grabbed another piece of paper out of one of the Prima pads, pretending that this is a matching paper. It's not, but let's pretend, because I didn't have another sheet of this. So what, what I thought you could do, you could cut a second heart out, turn them over, and with a piece of paper, you could put another strip across there to make like a hinge, and then you could turn that into a card. Do you understand what I mean? So you could decorate the front, you could put a beautiful verse in there, a few more photos. Um, you know, you could, um, you could cut another, you could buy two of these hearts or, or cut one in card off the original one and cover it with paper and, and make a really, really nice little card. And that would be so easy to do simply by putting that little strip there to create a hinge so it became like a little book. Or, alternatively, another way I thought would do, um, I'm going to make a card. I'm going to make a card and we will do some mixed media on it. But what I thought we could also do was... We could, hang on, turn our plaque over and we could glue our card securely to the back and put a little clip there to hold it shut. So it would be a plaque on the front and a card on the back. And I thought that was quite a cute idea too. Just another way of utilising a little plaque. So it's not just a little plaque. It's a little plaque plus a card all in one. And then I thought, this is why I'm in the shower today, I thought, gee, that'd make a really beautiful wedding card, okay? You could have photos of the bride and groom and you could have, you know, congratulations. 
and you could do the full card like I suggested with the piece of paper and you could have photos in there, a beautiful congratulatory um, verse or something or um, a birthday like a 21st. You could put all beautiful photos in there as well as creating the card. So it's just creating a card with a difference, I suppose. So that was what I meant by putting a twist on it, okay? Um, okay, so what we'll do now is we'll start to decorate this. So I'm gonna put photos on here of my little granddaughter and I've die cut some doilies that I'm going to poke in underneath. Um, I'm watching my TV screen to see which way you can see better. Um, no, I need to go back the opposite, don't I? Yeah, this one. Who have we got on here today, this evening? Angela. Hi, Angela. How are you? And Marlene. So glad you girls could hop on. I, I decided I'd try a nighttime stream this week. I normally do the morning ones, as you know, 10 o'clock at the morning. And I'll be going back to that because... I really don't like filming of a night. I, I don't think it's light enough. And that way I stress about it all day. And yeah, so I did it because I know a lot of girls have gone back to work. But I just, yeah, I, I'm going to go back to the 10 o'clock in the morning one because I like the daylight. Okay, so that's sort of where I'm going to put this. Now, we could do one of two things here. We could um, colour our background with our watercolour um, paints first or we could do the watermark edging like I showed you last week um, and well, let, let, let's just do a little bit okay let's just do a little bit I'm going to use um, this gorgeous oh, like a mustard yellow and this gorgeous brown it's called Contiki brown no not Contiki Tiki brown Okay, so I'll get my water spray bottle for a start. So remember when you're using watercolour paints, water is your best friend. Um, I'll just get a brush. Okay, and I might try a bit of the brown first. Look, see how it bleeds? Oh gosh, that's nice. But remember, you do have to use gesso, girls, because if you don't use gesso, um, that's going to seep straight into the paper. And the more water you put on it, the more you're diluting it. Yeah, very nice. I might put the brown on and then when we're finished, I can add some of the yellow to it then. These are just so beautiful. You know what I like about these? They're sort of, um, instead of sprays, instead of inks, instead of paints, they're taking the job of everything. You can see the amount of water I'm using here. And then I'm gonna just pick that up and float that a little bit. And I always have a baby wipe next to me when I'm using paints and sprays and inks and all that sort of stuff, especially with all the water, because you need to blot off your excess. Now, I'll just give you a little handy hint here. Because I teach a lot of classes, that, that's sort of what I'm known for, my classes that I teach and, and kits, I suppose, too. Um, but a lot of people that haven't done a lot of mixed media, um, they tend to want to cover the whole thing with their colour. Like in this case, they put brown all over that. And that doesn't look as nice as just being subtle with it and putting little bits here and little bits there. You can always add a little bit more later, um, you know, if you think it needs it. But yeah, I, I'm gonna stop on that note. I think that's nice and soft and subtle. I'm happy with that. Um, I've still got lots of white showing. And now I'm going to dry that off and then we'll stick all our other bits on. And if I think it needs some more, I can always add them on at the end. You know, I can go around like I did last week with the brush. Okay. Hi, Pyra from my Two Crafty team. How are you? Jan said, did you paint the doilies? No, I didn't, Jan. They are a... Oh, I love this paper. I have it. 
it's a recycled card um, cardstock and it just I love it with white especially it goes so nice with white um, and I've just put a little bit of brown ink around the edge just to you know to give it a little bit of definition um, but I just thought because I'm using these types of flowers I just thought that recycle color card went really really nice um, now I'm going to have to dry this off with the dryer and I know it's as boring as anything watching someone use a dryer but we're live remember girls so there's absolutely nothing I can do about that I'll just have to prattle on to try and fill in time while we're um, while I'm drying this um, but I really like that brown color so what's that one called? That's called Tiki, and that's out of the um, Tropicals Watercolour Confections. Oh, I don't know how many. Does anybody know um, how many different sets they do in these Tropicals? I, I have no idea, but I know it's quite a few. Um, I think it's about six, or could even be more. I, I don't know. Don't quote me. Um, but most of the bigger stores have them. Um, all the little stores, I'm sure, would order them in for you if you wanted them. Um, I just, um, yeah, I love them. I just think they're great. And, and they're, they're not a super cheap outlay, but the tiny, tiny bit that you use, because they're so highly pigmented, um, they're going to last forever. They absolutely are. Um, and I, I, I think you've heard me say before, I never begrudge buying equipment and tools and things like that because unlike a piece of paper, once you use it, it's gone. Whereas this, um, you know, you've got it, you know, forever just about. Um, so yeah, I don't begrudge that at all. So, sorry guys, I know this is boring while I'm drying off, but as I said, we're live. So normally in a video tutorial, I would have edited this drying, boring part out, but I can't edit out. Not in a live. We just have to put up with these things, ladies. While I'm chatting away, I'll just um, prattle on a little bit here. Um, I don't know if most of you follow me over on Instagram, um, also Facebook. Um, anything that I'm doing, if I'm releasing new kits or if I'm doing new classes or whatever, um, I'll always have it on both my Facebook and Instagram page. So keep up with me there. Remember to follow me. Um, over on my blog when I do a new project I always um, do lots of close-up photos and uh, they're always on my blog and at the very top of my blog you'll see the lime green paint splash that says kits 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 and that's where all my kits that I sell are and all my kits come with all the products I use a lot of Prima products in my kits um, lots of lovely chipboard um, paints, they might have sprays, they might have inks, um, all the flowers, all the gorgeous prima flowers, um, and there's all details about postage and all that sort of jazz and razz and taz there. So check my blog out, that's Dyes Creative Space. You'll find a link on my Facebook profile and you'll also find a link to it in my Instagram profile. Um, okay, the live videos I've been doing the last few weeks, two girls, sorry this is taking so long, um, I will save all these lives and I'll put them on both my YouTube channel and over on my Facebook page. So if you are looking for them, that's where you'll find them. So I think that's, I mean, it's not totally dry, but I think that's probably good enough for the exercise. I'm sorry that was boring watching somebody dry. Um, okay, so we've got our little bit of mixed media there. We've done our gesso. We've done our texture paste. Now we've done our watercolour paints. So now we'll layer um, our photos and things up. I've already um, joined my photos together. You know one of my signature things is doing two photos. I mean, I've been doing that for years and years and years. Um, and I always join them together first. Just, which way do I need to come back? Yeah, that way, just so you can see better. Um, I've joined them together with a couple of bits of tape. I've made sure they are where I wanted them to be. And then I've put some um, 3D card on the back there so that the beauty of doing that is I can move them anywhere and they're already joined together for me, okay? So, and notice I only put it in the middle. You don't need to put everything around the corners. 
because if you've got stuff stuck there, you, um, you, you can't tuck things under. I'm just going to pull my phone out a little bit because I feel like half of that's being cut off. Okay, so now we'll layer up the doilies. Now I've cut the doilies in half, as you can see, because um, you don't see what's stuck underneath anyway, so what's the point? I won't stick them down hard just yet. I'll just sit them in place till I'm ready to go. Hello, Mrs. Bella. How are you going, sweetheart? So nice to have you join me tonight. We've had all sorts of technical issues tonight. You'd understand that from doing all your lives too, darling, wouldn't you? Okay, so we'll put that one there. Isn't she beautiful, this baby? I just love it to pieces. Elsa, hi Elsa, how are you? And Elizabeth, my good friend Elizabeth, how are you? So I'm thinking that's probably about right there. I'm not pushing anything stuck down steadfast. I've already put some 3D foam on the back of these. Um, just till I'm happy with where everything is before I commit to pushing it down. Yeah, I'm pretty happy there. The, the flowers are going to cover that. Yeah, I think that's pretty right. So now I'll push them down and I'll also now put some glue wherever it is here on the back of my photos and I'll commit them down. My wretched computer keeps freezing. Okay, I've spilled a little brown spot of paint there, I think. Yep, I'm happy there. Now, for the fun part, the flowers. That's always the fun part, guys, isn't it? Love flowers. I, I'm, I'm a bit of a flower queen. Now, I'm going to... This is a really, really old cream of vine. Um, I think I said to you last week, I love vines. I absolutely love them. But I never leave them in one piece. I'm cutting that in half. And I'm going to put a piece up there. And I'm going to put a piece down here. Really liking that. So it's hanging off the edge. Let's move that up a little bit. Yep, there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick a little bit of hessian in under the edge, which I've already frayed and gathered up. See my new toy? It's um, an Azita. <laughs> An Azito portable hot glue gun. Now, I don't like using a glue gun for um, flowers and things like that, but for things like the Hessian, it's perfect. Yeah, it's, it's got the battery and everything in it. I asked my husband, that's what I wanted for Christmas, and I said, I want a spare battery and a charger. You know what I did? Oh, he never, he never forgave me for weeks. He still talks about it. In all the packaging at Christmas time, I accidentally threw the charger and the spare battery in the garbage and never realised till about a week later. So don't do what I did. But this is marvellous because you can have it on your desk and you don't need a PowerPoint. So I think that little bit of hessian I'll put there. So before I commit to, and it only takes about 60 seconds to warm up, which is great. I'll just put a little bit in there. I don't need much. Just enough to hold it in place. And I'll put another little piece down here. Okay, that's all I need, just a little bit. And once that's been sitting there for a few minutes, it'll um, just turn itself off. Okay, so where are we? Um, so we're up to sticking our flowers now. Should I use my glue gun for my flowers too? I don't normally, but I kind of know where these should be, so I could maybe take the chance. And because this is an off-the-page project, I've got a nice little um, plate stand I'm going to stand it on. It's nice to have things hanging off the edge, as opposed to a scrapbook page where you've got to stay within the bounds of the page. Yeah, I think I will. Um, I will stick that with my hot glue. Sticky down. Oh, God. Takes muscles to do that. Okay. 
how we've gone. And I'll stick the other piece down if I pull all the blue strands off me. Uh, right, we'll stick this one down. You laughing at me, Bella Blue? <laughs> Burning myself and little bits sticking everywhere. Yeah, that's looking really, really nice. And that little bit of hessian underneath there just adds a little bit of. If Marie Sabatier is listening, je ne sais quoi. Have I said it right, Marie? <laughs> she's French and she's probably saying, oh my goodness, that's so not how you say it. Um, oh, I normally wouldn't use a hot glue gun for these. But I do want to turn the project over in a minute to do the card on the back. So I will, in this case, I will use the hot glue. Although I'm going to use my ordinary glue for that leaf because I'm not 100% sure where I want it. And that's why I do like to use... Oh, what's happened? My computer volume has turned itself up. We've definitely got the computer with technology gremlins here tonight, I think, ladies. Um, and I just had a bit of a seed spray there, and I thought, yeah, why not? We'll put a bit of that in, too. I am liking that. Yeah, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little string bow. I hope you're liking my project so far. I'll tuck that in underneath there. I just tied a little bow out of several layers. Yeah, that's looking a little bit nice. Oh, what the heck, as my grandson says. I'm going to point that in too. Hi, how are you? Glad you could join us tonight. Can I get that in or have I left the tail too long? I'm going to have to chop that tail off. Yes, yeah, so I'm really loving these, um, these new big, um, these hearts. They also come in triangles and um, lovely mesh things and um, all sorts of different shapes. And really good for something like this. And I'm, I'm quite keen on my... Um, in fact, I might make one and put it on my Facebook post. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. A little bit of je ne sais quoi, Marie. Is that right, Marie? <laughs> oh, dear, never mind. Okay, so now we'll decorate over the other side. So we've got some nice balance. So, again, these prima flowers must be, oh, they must be 14 years old, 15 years old. Um... But hey, they're still nice, so why not use them? Um, now, I'm going to show you what I did here. See that little row? Well, I'll show you in a minute. Where, see that little rose that I wanted to use? Um, that's just a little white rose. But what I did was I used the watercolour paints to colour the centre. Um, I'll just sit that there for a minute, and I'll show you on another flower, if I can find oh, it is. Um, if you want to do this, if you have any questions as I'm going, please yell out and ask. Um, just a plain white flower, and I wanted to give it a yellow throat like these little guys had. So I always um, spray it with a little bit of water. A little bit of water helps A, dilute the paint, and B, it helps um, spread the colour. So you don't end up with a great big blob. And then I'll just get a little tiny bit, just a little bit of the yellow paint. And when you put it in there, can you see? Am I out of camera view there? You put it in the middle, it bleeds up the flower. Didn't want to put that on that bit of it. That's all right. Yeah, so that just bleeds up the um, flower petals and it just it looks soft like these ones do. I didn't mean to put that on that petal, but never mind, it's done now. So that's going to be for our little card. Um, actually, I might do it to this one too, put a little bit more on that because that didn't have very much on it. Yeah, so you can see how versatile these little paints are. They're really good. Okay, 
that'll do for that. Um, I'll put my paints over there to the side for the moment. Now, where were we? We're going to stick the flowers over on the other side. Um, glue. Another one. You know, I always liked these flowers when Prima used to sell them years ago because I like that lovely, rustic, earthy look about them. A couple of little velvet green leaves I'll poke in there just to do a little bit of contrast. And a bit on the back. Okay, so I'm happy there. Um, I've got a little butterfly. Um, I'll put a little butterfly, maybe put him over here. Yeah. Now my glue gun's hot, I might as well use it. So this was a, a great project for utilising what you already had. Oops, I've got a lot of glue on that. And then I had all these flowers. I had these, I even had the doilies die cut from another project left over. All I had to do was ink them. Um, yeah, so it was good. I was able to use up all those lovely bits to make a lovely project. Um, now that was a little um, greeting, lovely, that also, now that one was cut out of one of the sheets in the Apricot Honey Collection. Um, and I didn't want to just sit it flat. So what I've done is I've curved it in my fingers like that. Um, but then I curved the ends out. So you can see the shape I've made. And then I'm going to just stick that down Somewhere. And you could put happy birthday or congratulations or whatever you wanted to put if you wanted to make that into a card. Now, I've got some little chipboard flourishes and I've got some little resin flourishes I want to colour, um, but I won't do that just yet. Um, no, it doesn't need that. Stop. Step away, doll. Um, hi, Shyla, how are you? Shyla's all the way from India. Melissa Attard, what have you said, Melissa? Are these flowers... Oh, these flowers are gorgeous. Yeah, I think they're gorgeous too. They're old as the hills, but I absolutely love them. And I've got so many beautiful old Prima flowers that I'm thinking, you know, why not use them? Now, you can see that little bit of brown, just, just a little bit around the edges. I might add a little bit more up here as we move on. So, while that's drying off, um, I might move on to the card. Oh, actually, I'll finish here because then that can be totally drying. So, I want to use a little bit of the, um, the uh, Art Alchemy uh, Wax Paste. That's one of the Finnevar products. These are so beautiful. They're so rich and creamy. Um, and they're just great to apply with your fingers. You know, there's no correct way of doing it. And it's lovely just to try all the different bits and pieces on your project. Oh yeah, that looks really, really nice. I might put them up there somewhere. Just a hint of green. It's not a real strong green. Where did I put the other one? Am I going mad? Oh, here in front of me? I am going mad. That's the other thing about doing night time, so it's, um, the old brain doesn't function quite as good of a night as it does of day. So, put that over there. Now, I think I'd like to have these coming out of here somewhere. These are little two crafty pieces. Um, I'll just stick those in there. One of my little go-to pieces that I like to use. Because they look so nice mixed in all amongst with all the flowers. There we go. 
Okay, so I've got some gorgeous sprinkles I'm going to put on, um, but I might even wait until I finish because I think they're going to get everywhere. Oh, maybe not. Let me see. Some of these. Last week I used art stones, but this week I think I'll use these sprinkles. Um, and I'm just using the soft matte gel. That's another Art Basics product, which is um, one of the Finnabar products. So I'm just going to um, spread a little tiny bit of um, um, what is it? gel medium. And that's this is the matte one, so it won't leave a shiny mark on my project. Um, I'm just going to spread a little tiny bit of that. Just get baby white and white that. And I'll just put a little bit, I might put a little bit here. Maybe. I don't want to smother it, but I just want a little bit here and there. Here. See, my internet here is playing up really bad. I hope you can still see me. It's frozen completely on my screen. So I'll just put those in there. And maybe a few down here. It's great, this gel medium. It really does stick anything to anything. And especially for stuff like this, where you you know you wanting to get in close. Um, when I finish this, I will take photos. If not tonight, I'll take them in the morning, perhaps, um, and post them so that you can see the finished job. Right, let me finish that. Now, so we're getting there. That's moved. You liking it so far? Hi, Dalit. How are you going? Thanks for popping in tonight. And Juanita, nice that you could call in and and have a look along with us. Yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. But now we've got to do our little card. So I'll just put that over there for the moment. Um, where do I put our little card? Um, same process as before, which I should have probably done them together. Maybe we use the um, maybe we use the yellowy mustard one for this one instead. I want to have a look. Where am I? My volume keeps sneaking up. Let me just turn it down, guys. Right. I might put a little bit of the mustard on there, hey? Oh yeah, that's pretty. Nice colours, aren't they? They go beautiful with all those sorts of tones. And you can repeat this exact same process when you're finished. You can go around the edges of your project and add a little bit more colour if you think it needs it. Um, just add a little bit more water to that because I don't want it too strong. I want it very pastel. Yeah, that's all I wanted. Just, just a really, really soft effect. Um, while I've also got that out, um, I've got a little chipboard heart frame from Too Crafty. So I want to paint that, and I also, I well, may as well paint them all, and then I can dry them all at the same time. Um, so I'll paint that, and I'll also got some little, um, some little resin flourishes that I made with some of the um, Prima little moulds. Um, um, I don't know, I've got a feeling, I don't know, I'm being indecisive tonight, girls. Um, I might try the brown. 
Now that looks really, really dark, correct? But if we spray the brown on it, and it just, again, it takes on that nice watercolour look. Sorry, I'm totally out of camera view there, ladies. I beg your pardon. Can you see better now? Okay, it's just very, and that was the kind of look that I was after, just a very soft watercolour type of effect. And I will put some wax on that when I finish. And then as soon as I hit that with a little bit of water, it runs into all the little grooves, which is just beautiful. So I'm happy there. And I'll put some more as well on our chipboard frame. Now, I don't want it all perfect. I want it very, very shabby, very hit and miss. And I'm going to blot some off because I don't want it dark like that. I want it very soft. Yeah. Happy with that now. Okay, so I'm going to put my paints away. So remember those, they're the uh, Prima Watercolour Confections and this set is called Tropicals. So now I will dry these couple of little things off and then I can put my card together and we'll stick that on the very back of our plaque. So we're making our plaque into a gorgeous card. I hope you like this idea that I, I just wanted to do something a little bit different. Predominantly I'm known for my scrapbooking because I'm a memory keeper, that's what I do. Um, but, and I, well, having said that, I've taught card classes for 17 years. Um, but yeah, I just thought, oh, this way I can combine both. When you see when I photograph this project when it's all finished and I post the photos, it'll probably be in the morning now, um, you'll see, be able to see a lot more of the detail and um, yeah, it, it's looking quite nice actually. I'm, you know, I've been lucky that I've achieved, I've achieved the look I wanted. Oh look what I've done, I've got a little bit of brown paint on there, that's alright. You expect that with mixed media, don't you girls? Can't always have it perfect. You know now too I'm doing online classes. Uh, I mean I've been selling scrapbook kits for years. But with the onset of the pandemic, um, you know, I couldn't get out and about teaching. We've had to postpone a lot of the classes that I had booked in for this year. And it sort of forced my hand to do online classes. So that's what I've been doing. Um, so if you'd like to know more about my online class, I mean, I've always done little mini tutorials that go with my kits. You know, a little tips and tricks technique video, I call it, goes for 10 or 15 minutes, just showing you a few of the techniques that I've used. But in my online class, it actually goes from the very start to the very end, and it's just like you're sitting in front of me doing an actual class. So if you'd like some information on that, um, please just send me a private message on Facebook. Okay. So, that's that done. Now, I am thinking I'm going to put those, I don't know whether I'm going to put them on the card or on here. So, I'm going to put that on there. So, I might start off, I might use my glue gun again, which is something I don't normally do, simply because you've got to get it right the first time. Just bear with me a sec till I turn my glue gun on. Oh my goodness, I think I've run out of battery. Of course I have, and I don't have a spare one because I threw it in the bin, didn't I girls? Oh no, we've got it. It's all it's all good. All good to go. So, uh, it just took a longer. It's was thinking about it. So, I'll just get that off there. And I'll stick. I don't want to put too much glue on it because I don't want it to be visible. Just a little bit. Get over here because that's going to be covered. Yeah. Gosh, I hope that's straight. I normally stand up to strap because I'm short. You know, it's very hard to see. And you see them? Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. Um, and I've got a few flowers that I've um, got that one that we 
coloured the throat. Look how nice that, that's sort of bled out a little bit further. And that's looking quite nice. Um, just cut the tail off that. So where are we going to go? Maybe there, there, and there. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Um, so, I might use these because I do want to glue that on the back of the plaque in a minute. And I won't be able to tilt the plaque up right if, if it's not stuck down. And there. On the home run, ladies, nearly finished. I hope you've picked up a few little tips and tricks along the way. Just having a look to see who's joined us. Kieran and Robin. How you going, girls? And I'll put that on there. See how I'm clustering those? I'm clustering them in three. Um, also... I've got a little butterfly I'm going to sit there. Oh, burnt my finger. Don't you hate it when you do that with hot glue? Um, um, um. Oh, it doesn't want to go in. Yeah, that's it. That's better. Oh, with all the strings from the hot glue. Um, I'll stick my little butterfly. Put him over here somewhere. If you do hot glue, it does do straight away, doesn't it? Um, I'm going to show you a little thing I do with these. These little velvet leaves come on a wire. Um, and I just twist the wire to join them, I give it two or three twists, and then I get, I call it, it's an awl, it's a tailor's awl, it's a spiky tool. Um, I use my thumb to hold it, and I do some little twists, not continual, just a little bit, and I miss a little bit, and then I do a little bit to make like tendrils. The secret is to do a bit and then miss a bit. Then you don't end up with too much. And then I'll pull them forward. So I've now created a nice little pair of tendrils. Can you see those? Okay, so I'll stick those in too. Some tendrils have got twisted. There we go. And now, can I put my little resin flourishes in there somewhere? Surely I can fit them. Oh my goodness, that looks beautiful. Um, where's some of the wax? I might use some of the aged brass wax, I think. Um, just, oh gosh, that's so beautiful and clean. And it just um, gives a nice metallic sheen to the parts of the mould that's raised. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit hard to see on the camera, but it just gives it a beautiful metallic sheen. So what are you thinking, girls, of this project tonight? Something a little bit different? Mixing up a plaque with scrapbooking and card making all in one? Giving you an idea for a lovely card slash plaque for next time you've got something special that you want to do something really, really nice with? Give me a comment. Tell me what you're thinking. Is it for you or not? Or maybe you might give it a try. I'm just trying to play here, about there, I think. 
I might stick that on with hot glue as well because I want to put it on the back of the plaque in just a second and turn it over. Otherwise, if I use normal glue, it's not going to be stuck. And put another one on here. Oh, that's really hard to push to me. Now, silly, silly me, I forgot to bring up a little card greeting, like a happy birthday or a congratulation. Oh, Melissa just said it's too pretty to give away. Yeah, you've got to be selective, Melissa, who you give things like this to. Um, and Elizabeth, you like how I did those leaves? Yeah, I, I, um, I like doing them like that. It gives them a little bit of something extra, doesn't it? Remember, a lot of people just go curl, 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 and you end up with this really tight spiral, which I don't think looks that great. But by doing a bit and then missing a bit and then doing a bit, you get a more natural, you know, you get a more natural looking tendril. Um, okay, so that's done. Um, as I said, I should have brought, I forgot, I'm upstairs filming because I thought that was a better spot to do it. And my craft room's downstairs. I would put a happy birthday or a congratulations or something there. And, um, you know, you've got your thing, obviously, right on it, maybe, before you stick it on, because that's going to be, um, it's going to be hard to do the right on otherwise. Carol's saying she loves mixed media. Yeah, a lot of people think, Carol, that mixed media means dark and grungy, and it doesn't. Um, it means um, using a mixture of different mediums on your project. Um like your mediums like like here i used um gesso i used texture paste um we've used paint we've used stenciling um we've used you know sprinkles and things i was going to stamp on here which would have been another type of medium um but i think it doesn't need it the same as i was going to add a bit of a tide mark around there but i don't think it needs that either but I do think this yellow needs a tiny bit more of brown. Um, so I'll just really quickly add a little bit of brown because I think it's a little bit pale. Can you bear with me? I'm almost finished, guys. Sorry, I didn't mean to go quite this long. I hope I'm not boring you too much. Um, I'll just put a little bit in there. It looks, oh my gosh, she's ruined it, but no, she hasn't. Because she's gonna put a little bit of water and that's going to just darken it up a little bit. So don't panic. Don't panic. Have faith. You can see there, I've managed. If I put water in, you've, you've saved your project. So don't, don't think, oh my goodness, it's too much. It, it, that's fine. Your water is your best friend. Remember you've gessoed. And because you've gessoed... Hi, Trish. Trish is from New Zealand. Um, thanks for joining us, Trish. Yeah, remember when you do these watercolour type effects, and you can do the exact same technique with your paints at home, but you've got to gesso first so that the paint doesn't penetrate the paper, and you've got to use loads and loads and loads of water. And when you think you've used enough water, add a bit more. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to move that over there, move that over there. I've got that much stuff on my desk I can hardly move. Um, can you bear with me two seconds just while I give that a slight dry because I want to stick that on our, um, on our plaque. So remember what I said before, you could put the card on the back. I mean, you don't have to put anything on the back. If you just want to do it as a plaque, well, that's fine too. Um, but I just think that looks nice with the, um, you know, just something a little bit extra. Or the alternative was, remember I showed you before the, um, the heart and put a little strip of paper to hinge the two together? That would be nice. You could add some extra photos and you could add a great big verse and, you know, you could really go to town there on that one if you, if you wanted to go down that road. Okay, so I um, just hope... I can turn that over without everything falling off. I hope everything's dry. Well, here goes. We'll soon find out. Oh, a few sprinkles. That's all right. Um, now, 
if I was not filming, I would um, I would put double sided tape on that so that it would stick instantly. But something's just fallen off in my hand, that's all right. There's my tissue and my white to block that up. Still a bit of water in there. So that's going to go on the back there. Put a bit more hot glue on there. Oh, it's just really stiff tonight. I've got to push it with all my might to make it work. It's usually so easy. Okay, so there's our card on the back. I will put a greeting on there and I will put some sprinkles, which I will do in the photos um, when I show you those tomorrow online. But now we have our card on the back. So when I said to you, it's going to be mixed media with a twist, this is what I was talking about. You know, the other week I did the double canvas, so that was a canvas with a twist. I'm just always trying to think of something new to do. Um, so that's our project for tonight. I hope you like it. Um, I hope you'll tune in to more of my live streams here with the, on the Create With Prima page. Um, I hope you'll follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Um, you'll just, just search as Di Garling, D-I Garling, G-A-R-L-I-N-G. Um, my blog is Di's Creative Space, but if you do Di Garling blog, it'll come up anyway. And all my kits and things are there too. Um, but that's probably about all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me some feedback and tell me what you think. Hi, oh, thanks, Karen. Karen said thank you. Um, yeah, let me know what you thought. And um, I don't think I'm doing one next week. It'll be the week after. So I'll be back in a fortnight um, on the Wednesday. But I think next time it'll be a morning. Okay, well, that's about all I've got. Oh, I know what I have. I did have a happy birthday greeting for my card and I didn't put it on. I just found it. Never mind. I'll put it on and you'll see it in the photos. So that's all i got for you. So... Bye-bye for now. Thanks for joining in. Bye.